Hi everyone, um, I want to show you a doily book that I've created. Um, this is the first one I've ever made and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Um, I dyed the laces in the doily book using either tea dye with um, hot pink food colouring in it or coffee dye with a hot pink food colouring in it. And I also use some red wine food colouring as well to give the pretty shades of the laces. And each lace more or less dyed differently, so it gave all different colours of pinks and browns, which is really pretty. So I'm impressed with uh, the way that came out. And it saved me um, buying avocado, avocados and using that dye. It's far quicker to do it this way. So anyway, I'll show you the doily book now. Um, I've got it resting on the pillow. I hope it works out okay. So anyway, this is the top. Um, I've layered some doilies on a felt. What I did to start with, I cut out the circular felt and then I went over the front and back using calico fabric. Then um, I layered the doilies up on top of the base. And I've used approximately two doilies on each page. Um, and then I've layered some more, another doily here in a cream colour. And all different laces, really pretty laces, some dangle laces, some flower trim. Here I um, put some bling mesh down the front to make it look pretty. And then on the front of the book then I've used a doily of sorry, a crochet frame here. Um, I got that from Lynn Kent some time ago. And then I used this pretty image here. And I bought that from Etsy. I bought a set of them that are throughout the book. And then I went around the image using uh, a flat back pearl trim. And then for the flower here, um, this flower was gifted to me from Patricia, who was Pat S on YouTube, and it was white originally, and I coloured it with um, a Pro Marker pen, uh, so it would match the book. And then I used a little uh, pearl centre cure with some rhinestones around it. So I'm going to try and show you now the inside. Um, the book is bound together using lace and ribbon. So anyway, I'll show you the first two pages now. So, for this page here, I hope you can see this, okay, let me try and move it, zoom in a little bit. For this page here, um, I've used a tan colour doily um, and then I've gone across the centre here using um, a flower trim and this is a pocket page. And then I coloured the butterfly again using a Pro Marker pen and I put the bling in the centre of the butterfly. The little pink daisies were cut from a trim I've, I've got and I dotted those around the background. And then um, I've also layered here with the long lace as well, um, you know, so it looks pretty. So anyway, this is the next page here. Um, I use a couple of doilies on the base here in different colours. And then I put the image in the centre and went around it with the pearl trim. And then I use this pretty lace here, so it's really pretty. Um, pink and white flowers, cream flowers. And then I put a little ribbon rose here and for this flower this was white and I also coloured this with a pro marker pen as well and then the little dangle comes on on it it was on a length of flowers and I just snipped one off and then I put a little applique behind that which I also coloured as well using the pro marker pen so anyway this is the next page here um I'll move it over a minute um, this is the next page. Um, I made this flower um, using calico fabric and then I've got a pretty pink organza flower in the middle with a little bling. 
I cut sections of these pink laces here and dotted that around the background to give it some, some interest. And then on each page then I've layered along the bottom using a dangle trim like this, like that. So then when you put one on top of the other, when the book is closed, it looks really effective. And also because it is quite raised up, you need the dangle lace really to, um, to add to the sides so it looks nice. So anyway, that's that page. And then the last page is this page. Um, with this one, I've used different colour doilies. Um, I've gone around the image using a pink braid. I've got a little ribbon here, a little uh, ribbon bow here, which I coloured again using a Pro Marker pen. And a little rhinestone flower in the centre of that. And then I've gone around the image again using um, these little flowers, resin flowers. And then for this here now, um, I used a cream colour flower applique here. And then I coloured the flower in again here uh, using a Pro Marker pen and put a bling centre in the centre of that. So this is the back page here. One second. This is the back page. Um, I've used different doilies on the background and then I cut a little uh, rose applique out that I've got to go on the back page to make it look pretty. Um, I didn't want to put anything decoration too much on the back page because it's, you know, it's going to get scratched when it's on the work surface. So there's that page. And then I'll show you the front of the book again. I really had a lot of fun making this doily book. It was really good fun. So let me just sort this out by you now. Whoops, sorry. I've not the tripod then. Um, so anyway, there's my doily book, everyone. Um, I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment.